are from Bungie. Iron Ore 6. Flipper. All rise for the granddaddy of robot wars. Team Captain Gilbert Grimm's one of the godfathers of robot wars, but his passion is less about history and all about the family. Well, here's a bit of history, a bit of Robot Wars history anyway. Gilbert Grimm, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, Gilbert, you have been involved in it for some time, haven't you? 17 years now. OK. My son got me into the Robot Wars. Hello, sir, how are you? This is your son... Robert. Robert Grimm, yes. And there's another generation of Grimm's as well, am I right yes. in saying this? Yep, this little William has just joined us, eight months old. Eight months old, very, very good. The uh, memories I have with my father are quite sketchy and we didn't actually spend that much time together. And I wanted that to be different for me and my son, and hopefully going on to the grandson as well. Roboteers, stand by. The competitors ready. Their robotic creations are in the direct line of fire. It's battle time. Good luck, good luck guys. Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Three, two, one. Gilbert and Robert and Iron want to show the new flippers on the block really how to do it as they attack the tower on there. In comes the kegs, made of 2.5 millimeter curved stainless steel from an old beer keg. What's that? The old entanglement device is gone. No flipping from Iron Ore. Why not? For a peace lover like John Frizzell in the kegs team, it's not a peace loving looking machine, is it? Into the CPZ goes Iron Ore, too close to kill a lot. Good drive there by Iron Ore now. Side on with Taron. Why no flip? That was an opportunity to get a flip in. Taron, how's he driving? Oh, whoa! Big hit to the kegs. Weaponless. Is it dead? Kegs gets the dial of two. Oh, it beats Taron over to the road. That's a kill off came out. Nearly caught kegs. Big bash from Taron on the side of Iron Ore. How about it just not working? There's John Frizzell at the controls of the keg still in there. Are they just... Oh, oh wow! Big hit to the kegs. Look at the power in Tauron's weapon. Tossing kegs through the air. Can it survive? I don't think it can. Went up again. Now it's between the experienced Gilbert, Robert, Iron Ore and the relative newcomer, Tom. But Iron Ore still not flipping. Yeah, there's nothing left in the keg. <laughs> Kill it up, push kegs onto the dial of doom. Put him in the pit! Which means the pit of doom can go down. Tauron, can he drive away from that pit? Iron Ore 6 not moving freely at the moment. What are you pushing me around for? This could well go to the judges. It's all got slow-mo. Well, you're watching it in real time. Come on, get some urgency out there. This isn't a waltz. This should be a driving, killing arena. Go on, Iron Ore, into the side of Tauron. Tauron dodges away a little bit slowly. You can get up to 12 miles an hour, that's better. I can't even push it, you're stuck. With a big front spinning bar, running up to 3,600 RPM. There together, out comes Kilolot. Who stopped first? Well, Iron Ore 6 is still going. Terrifying. Who's still stop. mobile, Rob? Can we no. stop? Oh, get tar on. And they pressed the mobilization. Taran was out first. Just. And the other one moved at least a metre yeah. and a half, so. It'll go to the judges. We've got a clue there. Well, the trouble is they let you they let you refill your weapon and ours didn't work. While the judges ponder on control, damage and aggression before they make the decision. Let's have a look. John, Greenpeace expert, loves to save his animals and his fish. He wasn't in the right place at the right time. He had soul, but I'm afraid he wasn't a whale of a time for him. <laughs> but I like the weapon of Tora. I really do. With the blade whirring, another smash. It runs at 3,100 RPM. It can cause real damage. And there you see the weaponry of the kegs simply just discarded across the arena floor. The judges will have to decide this battle winner, who will go automatically through to the semi-finals. The loser will face the redemption battle to stay in. Well done. 
they're happy with the amount of destruction and kind of, I mean, this blade, I mean, this weighs a ton. There's a second one over there. They flew up against the wall. Whoa! It was messy and fabulous. Now, I better get to work. We've got another battle to do. An arena full of destruction, but only one team can go through. As Toron were judged to have stopped moving before Iron All 6, the victory was given to Gilbert Grimm. It was a good fight because, hello, Sarah, congratulations on your win. Oh, right. thank you very it much. It could have been even better if you'd flipped him at that last point there. Well, the great problem is the flipper didn't work at all. Yes. We were fighting without a main weapon. And you couldn't even shove him into the pit? No, not at that stage. There was so much debris on the floor. They chopped up all of our... Um, Sorry. Entanglement weapons. Yeah, they had. They really they had. You really did scatter a lot of rubbish all over our yeah. arena. It was a great fight, lads. Congratulations. Uh, you jump forward into the semi-final. You now have a quarter-final, basically, fight. Right. Okay. But I don't think you should be scared. It's going well. Yeah, concussion may be the new boys, but they've got a lot of new technology in their robots. Um, we're the uh, old school. But Gilbert will need to get that flipper flipping if he wants to make it to tonight's final. Is this weapon ready to go? Because it wasn't in the last bout. We, we hope, hope so. so. Every test, it worked perfectly. You think, yeah. you think you can do it this time? Oh, yeah. There's a lot riding on this outcome for family man Gilbert. The uh, grandson's name is William, and we're hoping he's going to be another keen robot here. Um, even at eight months old, he's very interested in getting hold of the controller. Maybe to chew the aerial, but still getting hold of the controller. So uh, he seems keen. And together, I think we make a pretty good team. This father and son from the Grimm family have had a fairy tale relationship with robot fighting. Not only do they lay claim to the original Wedge Flipper, they've also been happily working as teammates for over 16 years, of course. Team captain, semi-retired engineer Gilbert has another string to his bow. He's also a local archery champion. Bullseye. Iron ore going into battle with two kilos of liquid CO2 on board for plenty of arena shaking flips. They've taken advantage of the new entanglement rule as well this series. They come with both entanglement chains and compressed gas entanglement cannons, which might be the only weapon we see working if they're still unable to flip. Front edge. Ah, interesting. The concussion boys trying to work out how to avoid the entanglement devices of iron ore. I think, I think um, iron ore is going to win this one. Do you? Yeah. How many predictions has Dara got right so far? <laughs> we'll wait and see. Three. Iron Ore 6 from the left, big full body slam straight away on concussion. Is the flipper working? Avoiding shunt, but only just. Concussion here emerging as one of the strongest we've seen in this series of Robot Wars. Just stay in the middle, just stay in the middle, he's over, his weapon's dead. Overgo Iron Ore 6, Gilbert and Robert. Grimm's fairy tale about to end in a nightmare. I think they're dead. Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. That'll be damaging. The metal thinks they've had it. The judges think they've had it. And did he just go in for a little nick at the end? Iron or six. They'll go through to the third, fourth playoff. But concussion worthy semi final victors here. Guys, if we're honest, your experience was the most intimidating thing in that <laughs> yeah, arena. Yeah, we were really Seriously. worried, generally. And to be honest, Iron Ore 6 didn't know what had hit them right from the start. Look at the power of the lethal drum. Up goes Iron Ore 6. That is flipping fantastic. And we know Iron Ore has no working weapon. Does this spell disaster for Gilbert Grimm? Is the Grimm fairy tale over? Iron Ore really have a point to prove here. Granddaddy of the flippers. Well, it hasn't worked so far. Both weapons and the flipper and the big beak don't seem to be really working. I don't get from the back if you can. Get from the back, no, get from the back. 
the experience. Gilbert and Robert at the controls of Iron Ore 6. What will be the legacy for the grandson? A place in the first 10 way mega battle. Well, only if they win this one. Dodging away, both of them. They know what's at stake. Andro has had repairs. Good control, though. Impressive driving for the first timers. But without the weapon, this is a battle of attrition, really. It'll come down to experience of control across the arena floor. Ooh, stay away from Matilda. I know many a machine and a man that has got into her clutches. Dreadful things happen. Iron Ore 6 and Androne 4000 together. Iron Ore 6. Ah, good line up there. Came in on the side of Androne 4000 to get into the just. Can you see that little bit extra ground clearance on the side of Androne 4000? They nudge the dial of doom. Piss, piss. Pit, 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 run. Somebody into the pit. Somebody into the pit. Go on. It's very, very close. There's Killerlock waiting. Iron Ore 6 tried to feed Androne 4000 to the house robot. But David and Mark and the Androne team having none of it. Oh, brilliant. Nice stay out there. Oh, <laughs> that is interesting. Meanwhile, the competitors are frozen in their focus to get through to the big melee, the historic melee. Whoa! Iron Ore 6, a bit of a bucking. And a broncoing machine out there. Away from Matilda's tail. Oh, they're trying to get the weapon down. Oh, and Matilda does get a whack in on Iron Ore 6. Driving away again, Iron Ore 6. Andro 4000. Look perplexed. Where is he? Where is he? We need to get in. We need to do some damage. Got this dark thing around the arena. Oh, and very nearly a knockout blow from Matilda. Iron Ore 6 got too close in there, young Robert. You should know better than that. Now they go head to head. No real damage can be exacted from that sort of frontal approach. <laughs> Gilbert with the hands on there. On the controls, down go Andro 4000. Set, well on the road. Cheers, mate. Good Good only three seconds left as well. <laughs> it's all over. What a brave, brave battle they put up. Really good first attempt by them. But it ends in defeat. I think if it's flipper work, that would have been a pretty awesome machine. Battle of attrition, Iron Ore 6 in underneath, couldn't flip. But Androne 4000 had a problem with the hydraulic arm as they went into the CPZ and got a whack from Matilda's flywheel. Iron Ore 6 knew what they were doing. They were on top. Androne 4000 took too much damage in the previous battle, edged onto the pit and over she goes. So, Iron Ore have a lifeline. They're through to the 10 Robot Rumble in the Grand Final. Stand by. Oh, I am so looking forward to this. Three, two, one. Activate. Off we go. Thor first on the attack. Oh, look at that strange. It looks like a cardboard spinner there on top of traction. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Waiting in the corner, measuring everyone up, eruption over the yellow and black stripes. Traction, I think, ah, oh, I think they've lost some track. There's Thor with a little nudge on the doom dial. Oh, goodness me. Well, there's still life in track. Oh, no! Expulsion of God! Hey, Terra Hurts! Oh, no! Terra Hurts attacking traction. Apollo getting buffered in as well. Oh, the meat and the sandwich there between Sabretooth and Concussion teaming up well. <laughs> the fog of war. This is going to help me, isn't it? Fog out there as well, on top of everything else. Uh, Traction, yes, still in there. Wow, oh, they've got Traction finally out. So two have got. How can you enjoy that? Terra Hurt with all the experience there. John and Nick. It's a big flip from Apollo and Iron Horn. Doom Dial again. Fog of War. I have no idea what's happening. They're just about hanging on, are they out there? Let's get rid of the fog, I can't see. Apollo. Oh, that's a great attack on Sabre too. Apollo looks strong in this then so far. Oh, but Eruption nearly got caught in with the house robot. This is a good attack. It's a oh, mighty, mighty slam there. 
There's Iron Horse 6 backing towards the Doondale. Down it goes again. Rogue House Robots now. Taking on Iron Horse. It's Big Nipper first time we've really seen Big Nipper in this amazing 10 robot. Rumble concussion still in there. The orange machine as well. And once again, Iron Horse go for the tyre. <laughs> Please help me! Robot is! The pit has two, I fear there will be more! Sabre 2 still rumbling around. Big Nipper with a big pinch there as well. Graham Dawson, what a good robot here he is. It's very, very. Oh, who's that? One down! Iron Ore 6 in the pit! How many robots have we got out there now? Six, seven, I make it! Seven! Oh, down to six, concussion of God! Oh, oh, it's like a rubbish bin out there. The rubbish bin of Robot Wars. Dreams. Now, Sabre 2 with the drum on the front of Eruption's flipper. Ah, come on! A very passionate Gabriel at the controls of Sabre 2. A flip for Terahertz. Big machine to lift in the air. Terahertz, are they in trouble? They need to self right. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. John Reed needs to self right. Terahertz. How did that sound? We're good. They're still out there fighting. There's Terahertz. Oh, down comes the axe on top of Sabre 2. Through the murky mist that could just about make the house robot. Now I can see a rupture. Being taken off by Big Nip and the Doom Dial goes down again. <laughs> We have the dial, we have a house robot, we have Kilolot coming out into the fray, he wants eruption, for some reason Kilolot has a few with eruption, and now Apollo in trouble as well. They've gone for Apollo. But they're okay, it would seem. Say the truth, they've gone, they're in the pit. Ah ha. Terror hurts, under pressure, there is still enough power in the eruption flipper. Young Michael Oates in the controls. Terahertz picked up here. Oh, Bison Killamon. This late on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and this late on for Thor as well. It's all come to an end. He's down the pit. And Killamon has Terahertz. Yeah, throwers, come on. Oh, this is painful. Oh, yeah. oh come on. For John Reed. No, 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 no. No, that's not right. That's not right. It isn't right, John Reed. It's brutal. But them's the rules, son. Get on with it. And I think it's a kill a lot with Ted Cook. Thank you. Oh, my goodness me. I never thought I'd see the day. It's a kill a lot. Not all mushy. Three robots remaining. Apollo and Eruption. Surely the favourites now together. Out there. Terahertz. Have they got any gas left? Terahertz shoving eruption around for the very close to the arena wall and they get a big flip and I think that is it for Terahertz. We almost made it. So, two robots left. We have eruption on the attack. We have Apollo in orbit. Apollo in trouble and eruption senses it and eruption comes in again and eruption's going for the kill and eruption turns away. They know they've done it. Ten robots started, I think we've got one winner. I think eruption are the winner. Eruption are the winner. What a fight.